For the 13th round of bags, we finished off the interior of the fourth floor and did the back and side walls. We also built our J. Jonah Jameson minifigure and Betty Brandt. Here's our J. Jonah Jameson minifigure. I mean, as the publisher and editor-in-chief of the Daily Bugle, you knew he was going to be in the set, and he's been around since Amazing Spider-Man number one in 1963. So I'm really glad we finally got to this J. Jonah Jameson minifigure. Uh, his accessory is this pen piece. This pen is so cool. This Sharpie pen, this purple cap, felt, and a little um, clip there. It just, it looks so cool uh, for an accessory. And then his minifigure itself is beautifully designed. He's got this great detailed suit on, which I think is important because, you know, he's, as publisher and editor-in-chief, he's always dressed like the boss. So I'm glad they took so much time printing this suit with such detail. And then his face, you got that classic mustache, his slick back hair. And I love the second face they give him. Because if you take off your hair, you're going to see a second face where we have Spider-Man webbing his mouth shut because, you know, he won't ta stop talking about what a menace he is. And here's our Betty Brant minifigure, and you know, another important character in the Spider-Man mythology. She's been around since Amazing Spider-Man number four, and back in like 1963. She started out as J.J.'s secretary, and then later became a, an, a uh, reporter for the Daily Bugle, and she had a kind of like a romantic uh, relationship with Peter Parker, and then moved on to Flash Thompson. So she's been around for a while and really been involved, and so I'm glad we got her. Uh, again, another beautiful design. We've got those white pants and the pink blouse, the little tie, and I love all the folds they put in this blouse to give it just some 3D texture. Um, and just amazing what they do with this pr the printing these days. And her hair, that little bull haircut that she had in the comics. Her expressions are kind of like more neutral. This is just kind of like a straight, no-nonsense look. And then the other expression is just very happy and cheerful. So it's kind of fun to get a minifigure in a superhero set that isn't either angry, happy, or scared. Here we get happy and neutral. Of course, we had to finish off the walls and windows to the outside of the building, and this is probably the least interesting part of the build, but that being said, using these two-by-one bricks, these taller glass window panes, um, make it so that it's not really a tedious build, it's just something that you do, um, which I really appreciate, because like building the Ghostbuster Firehouse and the Batcave, there are a lot of parts that were just repetitive and tedious, but this has never felt that way while building, and we have to be careful at this stage because these endpoints are not connected yet, so they will snap off if we're not careful. Here's a close-up view of the front desk before you go into JJ's office, and here's the desk where Betty Brant will sit. And in the back here, we've got a huge TV screen. There will be a decal there with the Daily Bugle news going on, so you can watch the news 24-7, know what's happening in the world, and why you should hate Spider-Man. And then we've got Betty Brant's desk here, which I love. This build was so cool. Now, her chair is only a one-point connection on a jumper plate so you can kind of swivel it so she can see who's coming in the elevator to see JJ or you can turn it towards the computer so she can start typing and doing her work. But that one point connection lets it swivel because you see you got that two by two jumper plate here. But the desk, the desk is what I love. So I'm gonna take it off of that little two by two plate on the floor where it attaches and here you're gonna see this is like a sideways build. So really cool sideways build to get that cool like just curved, um, just modern desk look. So very sleek, not just your rectangular square desk. I love this kind of more curved desk look by doing the side build. And there's a computer here, put a decal on that translucent blue screen to see what's on her, her monitor. You've got that printed one by two tile piece with the keypad. Um, just a really cool looking design for a new Daily Bugle set. And finally, we get to the big man himself, J. Jonah Jameson's office. And um, of course, you know, being the editor-in-chief of the Daily Bugle, he's going to have the top floor corner office. Um, really cool design inside. The desk itself, not that interesting. Uh, it's just a rectangular desk. We'll get into that. But it's also a one-point connection like Betty Brandt's chair, so you get a little bit of movement with it if you want to design it a little differently. But as I take it off, we're going to take a closer look. And, you know, I, I like the paneling. And it's a nice rectangular desk, but it just doesn't have that sleek, modern design of Betty Brandt's desk. Got the little drawer there. But what I love is on top. 
On top here, you're going to see another computer monitor where we'll put a decal and of uh, whatever JJ's working on with this computer. You got the one by two printed tile piece with the keypad. But what I really love are the newspapers stacked on his desk where it says Re reward for photos of Spider-Man because as we know, that's how Peter Parker gets involved with the Daily Planet, was he was somehow able to get amazing, if not, you know, professional quality pictures of Spider-Man. For some reason, he just knew he was going to show up. So I love the fact that this is our very last tile piece in the set, and we get to use it in JJ's office, and it's a direct tie-in to Peter Parker and how he starts working for the Daily Bugle. Now, I'm sorry, yeah, Bugle, good. Every now and then, I'm, I'm saying I'm probably going to say Planet just because of Superman, uh, even though I like Spider-Man better. So, um... JJ's chair is also a one-point connection so it can turn like Betty so I won't take that out because one of my kind of complaints about the set is even though it's beautifully designed things are just so tightly packed in there it's hard to once you build it it's hard to take things out move things around and put them back but this desk in the back is worth taking out to get a closer look at so let me take that out so rather than watching me struggle, get that piece out, I thought I'd just do a little cut here. But here's the desk. As you know, be expected, we've got those working drawers. There's nothing in them, but you could put something in them if you want. You've got your coffee mug because you're burning the midnight oil to create those uh, Spider-Man articles. You've got two trophies here, two golden statue trophies with those little teeny tiny minifigures and the... Uh, cone pieces to make the trophies. And then this side rock here, now I'm not, I think, this is just me speculating, I'm not really sure, but it's one of those little mineral rocks that we get. My assumption is, is that this probably might tie into um, his son who went to the moon and, you know, uh, and then found that crystal that kind of changed him into a werewolf. <laughs> um, but that's my assumption to what this is, but I'm not quite sure, but it looks really cool and I love this little design. And once again, we got all the extra pieces that you normally expect to get in these bags. We got the one by one plate in tan. We got the one by one round silver plate. We got the one by one translucent red tile piece. You got the mechanical claw with the 1L bar. And we got another of those pens that JJ's holding. And I love this piece. I've never seen it before. So um, I'm really glad to get an extra one. But you got the little clip here to put on your shirt. You got the cap and a little tip, of, uh, the marker felt tip sticking out the end. And this is just such a great piece and I'm glad to get two of them in this set. The 13th round of bags were a lot of fun. I love building the interior set designs to each of these floors and Betty Brant's front desk is just really cool and a great build. And I'm looking forward to getting to bag 14 where we finally get to build Spider Ham. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.